Hello. Sorry, I haven't really been on, but I had a new phone. Takes forever to set it up. I had to spend 24 hours protecting the screen so you can't touch it for 24 hours. So, anyways, <clears throat> there's a lot of hate on Trudeau I'm still seeing. And I know that with the conservatives trying to find out who's going to be their wonderful new leader or whatever you want to call it, the newest liar in training, I don't understand what the problem is. And I'm going to list it off for you. So he won in 2015. He won after the start of the oil crisis, which happened um, while the election was going on before and not even like in this country. Okay. So he had to deal with the oil crisis. Then he had the pipeline crisis because Harper decided that he wasn't going to do what the court said. Nope, they're going to ignore what the court said and not talk to Indigenous, and then we don't get TMX. So Trudeau, with the help of Notley, who did talk to Indigenous, who did travel the country talking to the people who were against it, got approval. Okay, then we have the Kandahar kid who got $10 million, another Harper fail because he kept declining that the court said Canada had to pay him so then the money kept growing 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 and Trudeau got a hold of this file and said I'm not paying any more money the court said we're not gonna win pay him the money don't blame him then we get the pet demic in 2019 and that basically is nowhere near his fault because nobody could have known how to handle that and now you have um, a war in Ukraine and you have the CP rail strike and I just checked, just went online to check. Canada has the ninth strongest economy in the world. Ninth. So in seven years, that man has dealt with more than any other uh, prime minister has ever had to deal with. And we're still ninth. We're not even in the top 10. I don't even think we're in the top 15 for the worst inflation. And you want me to say that Trudeau sucks. So how many prime ministers has been handed one, two, three, four, five, six crisis in seven years and we're still in the top 10 of everything in the world? I don't understand. Is there someone who can tell me why I should not be voting for him? Because I don't have a reason. I'm not even a liberal.